When cyanoacrylate is used as the treatment, we're able to use long wave reflected UV to photograph the finger marks. This is a really, really effective technique when cyanoacrylate is used. Because of how the polymer develops on the surface, it really readily scatters UV light and it can create fantastic contrast between the fingerprint and the background. Now, the important thing on the DCS to note right now is that I have changed the lens. I'm now using a quartz lens and a special UV bandpass filter to ensure that the only light that's going to reach the camera sensor is the UV light that is coming from the 82S just here. So what I'm going to do is illuminate the surface and then use the live mode this time of the camera to get my image into focus and search for finger marks. Now, what you will notice is that the contrast that's achieved in UV light is completely different to the contrast that we were seeing visibly and is also completely different to what we are visibly seeing on the bottle. When we use UV light on the bottle, this kind of white milk bottle, this white plastic surface is really, really fluorescent. And so it just looks light blue. But when we use reflected UV, we can see that the scatter coming from the finger mark almost makes it look as if the finger mark is fluorescing. And you saw how quick that was. It's a very quick process that allows for high throughput of evidence that's been treated with cyanoacrylate. With regards to software enhancements, for this particular finger mark, there isn't really anything that we need to do besides grayscaling and inverting the image. In this case, it really is as simple as capturing and then performing some very, very simple enhancements.